I'm Mark Rotherham, CTO at BCN. Uh, I manage our tech strategy uh, across the whole business. AI is allowing us to do things with data we've not been able to do before. The whole idea with the large language model approach is to look at your existing data sets and think about how combining your data with generative AI can actually solve problems that you couldn't solve before. This is taking data to the next level. Effectively what we're able to do is look at a data set that a human would take too long to read. We can shortcut um, the interaction with that data by having a simple question and getting an answer. So you could think of it as an enterprise search across your data but generating really precise answers effortlessly and very quickly. A, a really good example of where we view generative AI against our data IP is with Public View. So with Public View, we own all of the data. We've got a very uh, huge data set. Uh, and one of our use cases was um, how can we generate reports? So we combined our structured data from Public View with generative AI uh, with the prompts of generate reports. Now there's a lot more to it than that, but effectively what we can do now is generate a report fully formatted in Word with precise data. The main thing that excites me the most around where we are with generative AI now is that it's become accessible. Um, for many years, AI has been reserved for people with big paychecks. We can now expose the investment that Microsoft have made with OpenAI through something as simple as a power app and make it accessible to all of our customers. So for me, the, the fact that we've made it so accessible and the on-ramp through the Kickstarters so quick uh, means that it's got massive potential for us to really help our customers on their automation, efficiency and AI journeys.